Well, I think coming off of last weekend's event, especially the last two matches we played, the team is uh, feeling confident. We played a good brand of volleyball, uh, had a great win over Ohio, and a really close match with number 19 Western Kentucky. So they should be feeling pretty good. Now the challenge is carrying over that execution level, but uh, based on practice this week, uh, I feel very confident that we're gonna do just that. Just like you mentioned, the environment is something you're used to. Everything from lighting to the locker room to preparation, you get into a good groove when you're at home. So that helps, and of course, probably the biggest element is the um, lack of travel. I mean, that can take something out of you as an athlete, and the fact that we're here at home sleeping in our own beds is always a nice advantage. Well, preparation is definitely more challenging when you're in these preseason events because you've got three teams in a short time span. So uh, our focus right now has just been Delaware since that's the first match we'll play. That's the only information that we've given to the girls. The coaching staff will continue to pay close attention to New Orleans and to VCU with film that we have, with matches that they'll play here, and then we'll pass that information along Long once we get through that first match. So we try not to overload the girls uh, one match at a time, one step at a time, and that's Delaware. We've got some phenomenal athletes on the team, and that was something that stood out last year. And with the addition of five new players, it just continues to improve. So I think from a standpoint of a, a just a traditional sports fan that may not know much about volleyball, I do think it will be pretty apparent that we've raised our level athletically. I think that also shows in terms of the competitiveness out on the floor. It's happening in our practice gym, and that's translating to what we see in competition time.